Hello family and welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you all are having fun, y'all doing y'all thing out there. And I'm glad you came over to the house and we could sit and chit chat about some things, okay? Some topics, some subject matters. I hope everybody had a good Friday. I know for the ones who had to work all day and probably have to work Friday night. Hopefully you'll be off after that. To have two days off so you can relax, chill, do whatever you feel like doing, okay? But we're into Friday evening. I'm sure we are relaxing. We're uh, hanging out with good friends. We're doing what we need to do. So hopefully your work week was good and you're just settling down and trying to relax and, and be comfortable. And thank you for coming over to the house because that's basically what I did. Yes, I did. My daughter moved out somewhat tonight. Well, today, after she got off work, and she'll be totally moved out tomorrow, hopefully. But did some shopping for her, and she loved all the gifts that I got her. And hopefully she will be well solidified and doing her own thing, okay? Um, but I don't need no grandchildren right now if she's listening to my recording. I don't told her that, too. <laughs> some life of her own okay and i'm still going through with my mother who's 80 will be 81 come may so honey that is my other responsibility so i'm doing it and making it do what it do okay but we're gonna get into this subject topic about miss and soon to be mrs hill cynthia bailey don't cut off all her hair and she looking fabulous i'm like okay girl why do you wear weave and extensions and wigs and all of that when you looking gorgeous with that short hairdo and she's not new to wearing short hairdos she mm -hmm. used to do it um pretty much in her modeling days or whatnot and stuff and i'm just like wow okay new look new you Okay, going down with the crew. But then I have to wonder some other things. And we're going to talk about that. Yes, we are. We're going to talk about that as we get towards the ending of the uh, review. But I just want to get on into what Bravo TV brought out. Yes, we get commentary from them. And it was a journalist or correspondent by the name of Adele Chaplin. She's filling us in on her little article, what she wrote up about Miss Cynthia Bailey and her new short haircut bob. If you go on to Cynthia Bailey's uh, Instagram account, <coughs> you can see her basically getting styled by her hairstylist. And, you know, it look, the hair look healthy, bouncy, and all of that. So I'm like, okay, girl, I see, I see. We need to see more fresh looks, natural looks like that from you. Instead of all these wigs and weaves and all of that. I know you have to do it because you're on TV. And that's probably one of the things that this satanic type of industry that you're a part of really wants you to do. You know, they want you to transform into somebody totally different than what you truly Oh, okay, but okay, we're going to get into that towards the end of the video. So take a look at the video visuals and you will probably see where I'm going with it, okay? But if you don't have the eyes to see, the ears to listen, maybe I can educate you toward the end. But you're going to have to do your due diligence. You're going to have to pay attention to what I'm saying and you're going to have to do your own research, okay? So when I be dropping little jewels to perk that... Uh, that light bulb in your head goes off, then you'll understand what I'm saying, okay? But anyway, let's go on and get into this article that was titled, uh, Cynthia Bailey Debuts Her Banging New Bob Haircut. Just cut it off. I'm like, okay, girl, cut it off, cut it off. And, you know, when you cut your hair off or you go bald, pretty much as a woman, it's like you want to, uh, you want to, it's like a new birth. It's like you coming out of you know, stressful situations, you're throwing uh, yourself, uh, you're opening up yourself to something new, and that could be a bad thing in regards to certain things, and then it could be a good thing, uh, where you just want to, you know, you might have had some damage to your hair. You're like, forget it. Let's just cut it off and let's grow it all back. Let me just redo myself in a positive way and give me empowerment by looking at myself transform. You know what I'm saying? To a, a better and more uh, fantabulous type of woman. 
And it could be the same thing said for a man if he wanted to uh, chop all his hair off and just start anew. Okay, it's just like starting a new chapter after some bad storms have come in your life or you've gone through some bad situations and you just want to be refreshed and you just want everything new. Okay, and so it can be exciting. But getting back to the article, it said, uh, The Real Housewives of Atlanta Beauty is taking a weave break and rocking a new fierce short haircut. Okay, girl, go on, rock that hairstyle. Let's see what the uh, journalist is giving us. It says, Of all the many hairstyles Cynthia Bailey pulls off effortlessly, pigtails included, we have to say that we love how The Real Housewives of Atlanta stunner looks with bangs. Mm-hmm. Doesn't matter if it's a blunt, thick, blonde fringe or long slide swept strands. She can sweep across her forehead. We love it. That's a picture of Cynthia probably getting some, um, what do you call it, eye reduction or lift. Yeah, Cynthia has been doing the little Botox thing too. All right, just had to put that in there for you. Um, but going back to the Oscar, it says, now we're seeing a whole new chart with Baines on Cynthia, who just celebrated her 53rd birthday on February 19th. Although Cynthia just went in for a wash, deep conditioning, and a trim, she must have had some sort of burst of inspiration when chatting with her hairstylist, Gail Hudson, because she came out with an entirely new look, a new little hairstyle. Instead, on February 20th, Cynthia debuted a short layer bob and equally choppy, wispy bangs uh, grazing her eyebrows. Can we just say how fierce this haircut looks on Cynthia? Now, I don't know how long she kept it because she showed was seen at some birthday uh, party she was at. It probably was her own. And she had on a wig. I'm like, what the hell are you doing, Cynthia? You just showed us this pretty natural looking look. And Lord knows it seems like you are turning back the ages of time. Have you been cloned, Cynthia? Like they did, I think it was Molly or Dolly the Sheep. And if you don't believe that they're cloning human beings, okay. You need to get it up with it. If they start with animals, what you think they're going to do with humans? Okay. So, I don't know. Candy and uh, Nene and hell, the whole Housewives franchise might be clones we looking at. All right. I'm just saying. But going back to the article, that's just my sidebar. Um, it says, they just cut it all off moment. Cynthia wrote on Instagram, those moments can happen when you're sitting in a salon chair. So now you're trying to blame the stylist, Cynthia. You're trying to blame the stylist. Now, I know they can cut a little bit too much, you know, when they call themselves trimming. But that's a chop you got. That ain't a trim, baby. That's a chop. But anyway, Cynthia's hairstylist added about Cynthia's new look. I love it. When my customer takes a wig and a wig break, healthy hair first. Woohoo! Yes, and I showed you the picture of Miss Cynthia at the beginning of the visuals that I display for you all while I narrate through. Okay, these bangs are perfection. This is what she's saying because I'm going back to the article. But there's just one question. Will this be Cynthia's wedding hairstyle? Hell no, nah, I doubt it. Nope, it ain't because I, I can't see her wearing no tiara. Nothing like what um, Eva Marcel wore uh, at her wedding. Uh, Cynthia gonna have some fake hair in her head and she's gonna be loving every minute of it because that's just who she is or is that her alter ego they playing with and I'm talking about MK Ultra but that's just my sidebar we're gonna move on forward okay it says what more the Real Housewives of Atlanta new episodes air every Sunday 8 to 7 or catch up on season Bravo okay now this is where we get into my sidebars my juicy things I want to ask y'all, because I'm taking y'all down that rabbit hole. Yes, we must go. We must go and expose some things, okay? I'm just saying, do you believe in MK Ultra? Do you believe in the casting couch? Do you believe in weird Hollywood? Do you believe in the sex kitten uh, pizza uh what is it? Pizza gate that they uh, do pedophilia with the children when they're very young. Uh, and they do salacious stories as of bringing out uh, new things to expose the children of the adults that we see. And we're going to strictly be talking about Real Housewives of Atlanta. Do y'all really think that Noel 
want it to be gay or do you believe it was a forced agenda on her okay remember michael jackson they said some weird things had happened with them boys okay yes casting couch for men all right and look how weird he turned out to be because they fucked his brain up okay if you don't believe it i'm telling you they do it in the army they do it all in the military because what do you think they be doing when they call it debriefing when they coming back from being on an assignment out there in wartime or they over there trying to not make war start out but they're over there just in case anything break out they always have to go through a debriefing what do you think happened in those debriefing type scenarios what do you think that happened to some of the people that go to these armed services and they go for a tour of duty speaking like desert storm y'all remember that one and some of our men didn't come back right you know what i'm saying most men that serve in the military as well as as well as women they don't come back right we send them right but they don't come back right i don't know if it's what they see out there in wartime or uh trying to prevent wartime what they have to go through you know how these certain countries they have to go and try to uh defend or ward off any type of uh what do you call it military threat you know they have some countries have children out there with bombs connected to their backs you know just to you know it's like they raise children up to just be killed for the cause so you know this holy war they be talking about so yeah you know uh, grown men grown women they have to defend themselves because they don't know just because women coming up they're thinking they're innocent thinking they want to tell a story to them or they feel like they um need help or whatnot or they just might be out there to do a suicide mission women children men the handicapped they don't care you know what i'm saying it's like okay if you do this god gonna accept you in his kingdom it's called the holy war you know what i'm saying so that's just a hot mess but all of it's really geared towards altering the mind altering the state of the mind of this person's perception so my deal is it's just very interesting how leon robinson noel's um that's the cute little bob that she was supposed to be adorning but on her 53rd birthday she's taking pictures in a wig but going back to what i was saying leon robinson noel's father he like i said in past you know situations he ain't been really getting that much work on uh his little acting gigs or modeling gigs or whatever because we really don't hear about him even his theatrical gigs because he's made a few um cameo um views or um uh, viewing on the real housewives of atlanta just coming in trying to call himself being a good father to noel or whatever and just making scenes here and there even when peter uh was a part of the show at the time and um I'm like, are y'all using uh, Noel as a sacrifice pretty much to garner more support and to make your career stronger in Hollywood? I mean, because they do. I mean, sacrifice don't have to mean killing them. It could be totally taking a person out their environment and transforming them into something else. And half the time, it's, it's against their will because they're doing a lot of altering altering ego uh type of situation i'm telling you noel is out there looking kind of strange you know what i'm saying one day she looking like a thought uh, a vix or video vixen hoe you know if i must just be blunt with it taking pictures on a car half naked and then cynthia in her alter ego state and i really believe mike is a handler of uh cynthia bailey because you know he's trying to transform her he's trying to instill things in her that we're not used to seeing because cynthia used to be very conservative even a picture like that is to me conservative because you're in a ball type of situation or like a um a nine to five type of after hours type groove environment that you may be going to uh of that nature you know what i'm saying but you know you have to look at these hand signs and see that hand sign that's like a shush hand sign meaning don't tell the secrets of what you know and like i said uh look at her what, what teenager or young adult want to take photos like that unless you're soliciting sex i'm just saying and then they tried to transform peter into saying he was a housewife trying to demasculate him if y'all don't remember that and i'm just saying take a picture of in your mind about all these different one eye uh signs that they do and Cynthia definitely has done hers in her earlier market uh modeling career and i have proof of that by it being displayed 
individuals. And, you know, I'm telling you, she may have had to do some strange things for some change or being really active in the modeling business because back then in the 70s and the 80s when she was modeling, it was very strong that you had to do certain things with older men that you didn't feel like you wanted to do. Or it could be an, a, a lady on a lady situation. Or it could be like bestiality. I don't know how they get down because that's not my type of forte. But I will analyze a little deeper sometimes when I see things just not add up. Because how can you take Noelle, who's just was a, a, a well thought out and still a well out, uh, open minded type of person, and then she just mysteriously turns into the gay life? You know what I'm saying? Like, what did she have to be exposed to to say, mm, I think I want to be gay now? Okay, because she will, uh, you know, like I said, it could happen. Don't get me wrong. She could have built into that and went and, uh, what do you call it, uh, experimented or whatnot. But it, it seems like it just happened too fast. And then she was supposed to be going to school. Then that turned out to where she couldn't make it, wouldn't do it, and all this, that, and the third. And now she had to come back home. Then she, for some reason, like I said, it's not kosher with me and it never will be kosher that I would let my daughter go out and live with a man that I ain't even married to, okay? And then she's doing this one-eye similars, all right? And her modeling things. And that's not the first time I've seen her do it. And like I said, just look at her demeanor, how she's dressing now, uh, the hand signals she's doing, and do your research. I mean, it's almost like you have already been indoctrinated into this weird Hollywood satanic type of... Um, programming and it was all because of mike hill because he's doing the one eye thing do you think these photographs are just by accident or by chance do you think the clothing and the jewelry they wear is by accident or by choice or do you think their backgrounds and what they're you know being featured in is by accident no it's not everything is set up everything is planned that's the agenda okay uh, but like I said, do your research on MK Archer. Do your research on the casting couch. Do your research on Illuminati, uh, the New World Order. Just a lot of uh, different things that can make you think out the box. Okay, not what the many, meaning the many sheep just following the masses. Have some individuality about yourselves. Think above and beyond what they're really trying to show you. Because they always have an adage. It's always presented to you in plain sight they have they hide nothing okay so that's all i really had for this video guys because i really think mike has come into cynthia's life to solidify her into doing a lot of things that's not biblical uh that's not of god or the lord uh, it's all a satanic type realm. And, you know, when you want that fame and fortune, just like that that wear that she's, uh, that apparel she's wearing. You know, it's just almost like she's in a delusional state. And I don't know. That's the one I symbol I was talking about. Why do you have to do that? Duality, look into that. The white and black, the yin and yang, it tells you a lot. But like I said, I'm quite aware of it. I don't have to go into it with you all because you all need to research and do it for yourselves. And they start with their children. They indoctrinate their children. That's some kind of sacrificial, sacrificial ritual they do. Uh, especially if they don't want to take their lives or whatnot. So with the kids, they try to make them as sex toys for elderly men or whatnot. Or elderly women. Or they try to um, change up their sexes. If they're female, they're going to make them look male. If they're male, they're going to try to make them look female. And if you do remember, Cynthia Charles, she don't dress conservative no more. She dressed like a real hottie dotty. You know what I'm saying? She's 53 years old. She need to have more class about herself. She used to, but it seems like when she met Mike Hill, everything started to fall off. Okay? It, okay? And I want to thank Straight from the A for using her fo photograph. Of that picture because they also said that Russell, you know, Simmons, he's out there. Check him out and his latest uh, fanatics out there and, and, and into windows and rumors and speculations of what he done did. And we already know, if you don't know, Steve Harbour ain't nothing but one of the Freemasons as well as, uh, what do you call it, uh, 
satanic self person himself look how he did his three wives okay or was it the first two wives that he just trampled on okay and that okay sign that's not uh an okay sign like meaning peace and all that no and see cynthia was doing the one eye symbolism way back when she was younger and that's probably when she was about 16 17 years old and look look how she acted like a little hole running around now that's not how i fit the three-year-old dress and get down that's why i say i think she more so has been either cloned or she's definitely been mk ultra she's been messed with uh mentally so um yeah those are just my thoughts my opinions and like i said the gay uh scenario storyline she brought up with you know bringing her daughter in it that's another salacious story um story salacious provocative type of picture that who gonna you know what i'm saying what what is that saying to you all that's saying like okay come on let's get it on let's get it on with no you know pun intended and it's pretty much geared to the older persuasion of a man you see what i'm saying and that's just how hollywood gets down they seek to destroy anything that's good and when you mess with our children and you start you know altering them making them do crazy things just for your pleasure then that's a problem with it so we all have to ask and pray for discernment and understand what we're looking at and be able to say you know hey foul on you shame on you and it's a shame that leon and cynthia as well as mike hill are using their kids to get ahead and uh, feeding the information to them that you have to do this to be successful you know it ain't about your talent it ain't about uh your uh your ability to do things it's about who you know and how far you're going to sacrifice your soul to get there you know what I'm saying? No hard work is needed. Just sell your soul and we'll make everything for us. Fame, fortune coming to your life. Okay. And I got to I do, gotta do a story on uh, Candy Burris because she's been tripping lately too. And I've been seeing some uh, funny things of how she's moving. Same thing with Kenya Moore. Same thing with, um, what is it? Eva Marcel. I'm like the housewives are full of it. And I didn't really recognize it until I really kept seeing the division they kept wanting to have uh on the show of these so-called women that got it all together why do they have to come up y'all be saying i be trying to tear them down but i be trying to analyze them i be trying to look a little deeper because i know money good but all money ain't good money and everything that glitter hell ain't gold you know what i'm saying and i'm like what are they doing it's okay if they want to do it to themselves but it's not okay when they start to bring their children into it um uh, and I kind of see Candy moving funny with Riley as well. But uh, that's just another video I'm going to bring out to you all uh, about that. But uh, I wanted to ask y'all, do y'all know what Bravo means? Now, it ain't Bravo like fantastic, applauding because you saw something great, standing ovation. That's what we've been told. Okay, and we've been uh, shown to look at but I did I did a little deeper okay sometimes the word bravo could mean a murder especially one who kills a prominent political figure who kills by a treacherous surprise attack and often is hired to do the deed okay more like an assassin then you can go and say a bravo could be a daring villain, a bandit, one who sets laws at defiance, a professional assassin or murder. Now, what kind of television program would call themselves Bravo Entertainment? And I got to put two and two together. And I said, okay, they trying to tear down the family dynamics. They trying to tear down women in general because I we definitely we just look at Real Housewives of Atlanta. But I have done commentary on uh, Real Housewives of Beverly Hill, New Jersey in the past. If you go look in my woo, way back archives of videos, you'll see what I'm saying. But I'm just focusing on Real Housewives of Atlanta because why would educated women such as the ones that we see on this platform go at it so hard at each other, call each other? Well, we're going to say Kenya Moore was calling, you know, Tanya Sam's a cunt. Why do we have to call um, our uh, brothers, well, not brothers, but our sisters bitches? Oh, that's my hoe. You know, all of that, that's demeaning and degrading. Why do these women do that? And see, I'm, like I said, Tanya Sands might not be a part of it right now, but she keep on dipping and dabbing. She's going to drink that poison as well. Um, but... 
She's the only one that I can see. I have never heard any cuss words come out of her mouth. Now, we're going to be, you know, petty here and there sometimes because we try to get back when somebody get back at us. You know what I'm saying? And we seen her get back when it came to Kenya and that weed, which I was fine with it. It was classy. It was a classy move to me, but she did not change her demeanor, not one bit. So that's why I said you got to do some crazy things on this show uh, or shows like these reality shows to stay in the know when you want to start doing things for the good they're gonna start xing your behind out because they want drama they want satanic stuff up there they want you throwing up hand signs they want you to do all of that and you ain't doing nothing but making yourself and your demeanor just look worse and worse and worse until you start acting like it. and i think that's what's happening with nene she don't went so far so fast till she don't even know how to act in real life anymore she thinks that everybody should pay homage to her and bow down to her because in her head that's how they don't mk altered her behind all right but that's just my take on this particular situation y'all get down in them comments y'all let me know what y'all think about it y'all think it's a comp conspiracy to bring women down in general de um we call it demasculate our men to thinking we need to they need to do this to be successful and be providers for their women and i'm not talking about race i'm talking about the whole no i'm not talking about individual race like black white well i am talking about individual races for us the difference uh di differential uh the difference between black white a eskimo Native American, you know, all of those. I'm not just strictly talking about black women, even though I am a black woman, it does affect us, okay? Uh, but I'm just talking about in general with all the different shows that are out there, how they try to demasculate men, and more so in the black community, in the black shows, because they don't want to have that family unity. You know what I'm saying? Even with good times, if y'all go way on back with me, you see how they kept uh, promoting James, and then when it's time for him to move on, on up right moving on up but that's the jefferson but we talking about the good time here yeah, they could never get out of that uh two-bedroom apartment with all of them living in now every time james would go try to get a better job or have an idea of getting a better job it always be taken from them and then i you know i heard how they ended up the show james and esther uh, with Jane, with John Amos and Esther Rose, who played Florida and James on Good Times, they wanted to see more positiveness. They wanted to get out the ghetto, and pretty much at the time, the uh, enterprise that was uh, hosting that show and network was hosting that show, they didn't want to see it go that way. They wanted them to still stay in that struggle, still trying to make ends meet, this, that, and the third, and they just got tired of it. So that's how they, and you know, really it was James uh, or John Amos was the one that was actually spearheading and he was like taking a stand so you see how they got rid of him they killed him off in the show and they still damn stayed there in the ghetto even when florida was sitting down dating the other man that had his own little uh appliance store shop repair shop that she only got out for a few uh things i think he died or whatnot or um i don't know what really happened because they re really didn't say too much of it but i want to say Maybe he didn't make it or whatnot. And she had to come back home. But no, I, I, don't, I think he they, he let her. He wasn't being filmed on the show. Carl uh, wasn't being filmed on the show no more. But he was like back south somewhere. And Florida left to come to see her daughter get married. And well, no, he had to die. Because then uh, she stayed there until... Keith got better with his leg and they moved on up like the Jeffersons and moved into like a penthouse apartment. And they took Florida with them because Thelma was uh, pregnant and she wanted her mama with them and all that kind of stuff. So maybe Carl did die. I don't know. But just to say that, to say this, um, they only want to see a group of people set in a certain environment and that's where they want to keep them. But in Hollywood, they don't discriminate. They don't care your age. They don't care your religion. They don't care what race, color, creed you are. They want you to do the strange things to keep them entertained. You see what I'm saying? So be very leery when you say you want to go up there and be, you know, an actor or a, a singer, producer, or whatever. Because these people, you know, if you want to make it be it, you ain't got to have talent. You got to have none of that. You just got to commit yourself to satanic worshiping and praise uh the Baphomet or the devil himself and it's very short-lived 
you know, very short-lived because they end up killing you off or you just end up in a, a very bad mental state. So, it just is what it is. But like I said, get down in them comments. Let me know how y'all thought about this video. Uh, not me per se, per se, but the material that was presented, what your thoughts were on it. And am I on the right track? Or what do y'all think about it? Uh, get down in the comments because you know I like to read what y'all be saying uh, about it and the uh, subject matters and stuff. And talk amongst yourselves. Uh, that you know That's where you build friendships and build understandings and this, that, and the third. But just be nice and respectful like I said. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Or I should say our channel. Uh, as well as share and like our videos. Okay, but other than that, be blessed and I will see you next video. See you later.